morning. Thank you for joining me for this morning's yoga practice. My name is Shade, and I'll be guiding you through a 30 minute yoga session. I would like to suggest if you have a yoga yogi block at home or a stack of books or anything to help you give you uh, give height in the poses. Again, you may or may not need this, but it's always great to have it just in case. So I'm just gonna put my eyes over to the side and we're gonna start with connecting with the body, the mind and the spirit. So join me in a comfortable seated position, legs crossed, placing your hands, palms down on your knees and slowly begin to close your eyes. Take this time to check in with the body, connect with the breath. Oftentimes, even during these times, whether you work at work from home or whether you work outside the home, we rarely take time to check in with how we feel, how the body feels, and just tune in with our breath. Now bringing your awareness to the breath, noticing how the chest rises and falls. Take this moment to set an intention for your practice. It's something you may carry without you throughout the day. Speaking that intention in your mind. We're gonna take three collective breaths together. Start by releasing all the oxygen from the lungs. We're gonna inhale, exhale through the nose. Take a nice deep breath in. And release. Two more times, nice deep breath, deep breath in. And release. One last time, nice deep breath in. And nice big release. Come back to normal breathing. And slowly begin to open your eyes as we lower our chin down towards our chest. We're gonna create large circles, start rotating towards the left and then work your way over towards the right. Take a nice deep breath. Once the chin drops down towards the chest in, and then exhale on the way up. Now start to go in the opposite direction. Continuing to follow the breath. Now stopping here with the chin down towards the chest. Inhale, come back up to a neutral position. We're gonna inhale both arms up towards the sky. Nice deep breath in, exhale, let those arms come down. One more time, inhale those arms up towards the sky, looking up towards the palms. Exhale, bring both arms down. We're gonna inhale, bringing the right arm forward. We're gonna bend that right arm. 
We're going to bring our left arm forward and wrap that left arm around the right arm as much as you can. If you're just uh, palms are facing the opposite direction, that's where you are, that's perfectly fine. But if you can continue that twist, continue the twist. Feel that stretch in the shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in and start to raise your arms up towards the sky. And on the exhale, sink the arms down. One more time, inhale, raise the shoulders up. I mean, I'm sorry, bring, bring the, the arms up. And exhale, bring the arms down. Untwist, unwind, releasing those arms, inhale. Reach up towards the sky, exhale, bring them down. This time we're gonna bring the left arm forward, bending that elbow. We're gonna bring the right arm forward and wrap it underneath and around the left arm. Again, if your palms are facing opposite directions, that's fine. If you can, continue that twist around the wrist. Take a nice deep breath in and slowly raise the arms towards the sky. Exhale, bring them down. One more time, inhale, bring the shoulders up. Exhale, bring them down. And slowly untwist and unwind. If you're sitting on a block, such as myself, you can move that towards the side. We're gonna come on to all fours. We're gonna start in our uh, normal cat cow, but then we're gonna add in the legs. So slowly take a nice deep breath in, dropping that belly, turn your gaze towards the sky. Exhale, tuck the chin, curl the spine, lift the shoulders. Inhale, turn your gaze towards the sky, dropping the belly. Exhale, bring the chin towards the chest. Curl the spine. We're gonna inhale. Bring the chest up. I'm sorry, bring the chin up towards the sky. And this time we're gonna lift up the left knee and we're gonna exhale. Bring that knee in towards the chest. Inhale, push that left out. Bringing your gaze towards the sky. Exhale, bring that knee in towards the chest. One more time, inhale. Kick that leg out. Exhale, bring that knee in towards the chest. Now drop the left knee. Continue to keep that uh, spine curl. Bring in the right knee. And take a nice deep breath and kick that right knee out. Exhale, bring the knee in towards the chest. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. And drop that right knee. Come to a neutral position. Bring your two big toes together, widening your knees a little bit wider than hip distance apart, and slowly sink the hips back towards the heels. Extend with both arms. Take a nice deep breath here. Really allow your hips to sit back and down towards the heels. And then slightly lift up. Start to walk your palms over towards the right side for a nice little side body stretch here. And then slowly begin to walk towards the left side. Take a nice deep breath here. Really feel that stretch in the right side of the body. You might feel it all the way down towards the hips. And come back to center. Inhale, come up onto all fours. Bring your knees in, hip distance apart. Tuck your toes and start to lift the hips off the mat, coming into our first downward dog. Keep the knees nice and bent here. Start to pedal one foot at a time. Take a nice deep breath here. 
And on your tippy toes, start to walk towards the top edge of the mat until we reach that first forward fold. Keep a nice bend in the knees here. Allow your chest to rest onto the thighs. And allow your head to hang heavy, dropping your arms and your shoulders. And wrapping up, reaching for opposite elbows, start to swing from side to side. That helps you loosen up just a little bit more. And then slowly releasing both arms. I'm going to inhale halfway lift. Continue to keep a bend in the knees, placing your hands on your shins, and then exhale forward fold. And slowly inhale, begin to rise. Allowing both arms to reach the sky, palms together, hands at heart center. All right, let's start our brief flow. We're going to inhale, raising both arms toward the sky. Exhale, swan dive forward. Again, if you still feel a little tight, keep a bend in the knees. That's perfectly fine. Keep your feet about hip distance apart. We're going to inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Planting both palms down on your mat. We're going to step back with the left foot first. And we're going to inhale, raising both arms towards the sky. Exhale, open up to warrior two. Inhale, flipping that front palm. And then slowly sink down into that revolving warrior. Inhale, bring your both arms down towards your mat. Come back on those left toes and step back with the right foot. We're in our high plank. Exhale, bending at the elbows. Keep the elbows close to the body. Come down to your mat, flipping the feet. Inhale, raise into cobra. Nice little baby cobra here. Exhale, come on down. Tuck the toes, push the hips back, and come into your downward dog. Now, again, if you need to have a bend in the knees, that's perfectly fine. If not, you can start to straighten the legs as much as you can. We're going to inhale, bringing that left knee towards the chest, stepping forward into lunge on the opposite side. Inhaling, bring both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, open up to warrior two. If you need to, you can open up your stances a little bit. Inhale, flipping, flipping that front palm. Exhale, coming into a long warrior. Inhale, bringing both arms down to your mat. Stepping back with that left foot. We're going to exhale, bending the elbows. Come on down to the mat. Flatten the feet. Inhale, rotate up to cobra. Exhale, come on down. Tucking the toes. Pushing the hips back, coming back into that downward dog. We're going to inhale, bringing that right knee in towards the chest. Lifting up on those left toes, stepping forward into lunge. And then take a nice deep breath in, stepping forward with the left foot. Keep the feet hip distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come on down. Inhale, slowly rise. Palms together, hands at heart center. Take a nice deep breath in. Releasing both arms, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. And this time we're gonna plant our uh, left hand into the center of the, our feet, instead of the mat. And you're gonna bend your left knee and then reach up with the right arm for a nice little stretch here in that right leg. Exhale, bring your gaze back down to the mat, switching, bending that right knee first, and then inhale, lifting up that left arm, turn your gaze towards the sky. If this makes you a little dizzy or lightheaded, you can keep your gaze towards the mat, the earth. Otherwise, continue to look up towards the sky, and then exhale, bringing both hands down, 
We're going to step the right foot back. Coming up into our crescent moon. We're going to add in a step here. We're going to exhale, open up to warrior two. Flipping that front palm. Exhale, come back to the long warrior. And slowly bring both arms down towards your mat. Reach for the block. You're going to keep that block at any height that feels comfortable comfortable for you. We're going to come into warrior three. So I'm going to start here at the highest height. You're going to have a few inches away from your left foot. You're going to press all your weight into that left foot and then come up on your right toes. Slowly begin to lift up the right foot. You can reach out for that block at any height that feels comfortable. Flexing the right toes. And if you really feel comfortable, you can let go of that block and put your hands together in prayer. And then releasing your hands, stepping back with that right foot. You can move that block out the way. We're gonna step back with the left foot, coming down on the mat. You can hover here in Chaturanga or an inhale up into upper dog or go back into Cobra, wherever you feel comfortable. Inhale, lift the hips up towards the sky. We're gonna inhale, bringing that knee in towards the chest, lifting up on those left toes, stepping forward with the right foot. <clears throat> inhale, lifting both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, open up to warrior two. Inhale, flipping that front palm towards the sky. Coming back into the raw warrior. Inhale, swing those arms forward. Come back onto the left toes. Reach for your block at any height you desire. Start to shift your weight into that right foot. Come up on those left toes. Press into that right foot. Lifting that left foot off the earth. Using your block. And one side may feel different than the other. Again, you can release that block, placing your hands in prayer. Today, my right foot is not feeling it, and that's okay. And then slowly exhale, dropping that left foot down onto your mat, stepping back with the right foot, and then exhale, come on down. I have my block a little too close to my face. You can inhale, lift up into upper dog or cobra. Push the hips back. Come into that downward dog. You can inhale, bringing that left knee in towards the chest, lifting up on those right toes, stepping forward into that lunge. Inhale, bring the right foot to the left. We're going to inhale halfway left and exhale release. This time we're going to place that right palm down the center round mat, bending that right knee. Inhale, raising the left arm toward the sky. Exhale, release. Switching sides, placing that left hand down, bending the left knee. Inhale and raise that right arm. Exhale, release. Straighten both legs. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, really sink into that forward fold as deeply as you can. Slowly inhale, begin to rise, allowing the head to come up last. Hands to heart center. Exhale, release and swan dive forward. We're gonna step both feet back. Exhale, come on down. Inhale, come up into cobra. Exhale, come on down. 
Lifting the hips up off the earth into downward dog. Take one more breath here. And then bring both knees down to the mat, crossing at the ankles, sit the hips back, extend with both legs forward. We're gonna come onto on our backs as we slowly begin to wind down our class. You're gonna bring your, the heels of your feet close to your hips, making sure your feet are hip distance apart. So you're gonna to try to touch your heels with your fingertips as much as you can. Make sure that your full back is flat onto the mat. So you wanna tuck your tailbone in. You don't want any curvature. You don't want any space in your lower back and the mat. So you wanna curl your tailbone in Placing your weight into your soles of your feet and your palms. I'm going to slowly lift the hips up towards the sky. Engaging the glutes. Engaging the core. And then exhale. Come down one vertebrae at a time. Two more times. Tuck the tailbone in. Inhale. Raising the hips off the earth. And then slowly come on down. Now, if you feel comfortable, we're gonna go back into this bridge. You could choose to stay here, or you can start to place your hands at the lower back, lifting up the hips even higher. Start to raise one leg at a time. as we begin to adjust to a possible inversion, we're gonna go into this pose next class. So exhale, slowly come on down. I just want us to start to begin to feel that motion, that movement. Releasing both legs. We're gonna inhale the right knee in towards the chest. And then slowly exhale, bringing that Right knee across the body. Extend with the right arm. And to my favorite pose, spinal twist. Turning your gaze towards the right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Releasing that right leg. Inhale that left leg in towards the chest. And then slowly shifting that left knee across the body over towards the right. Turning your gaze towards the left shoulder. And we're gonna inhale, come back to center. Bring both knees in towards the chest for a nice big hug. Squeeze here. And slowly release. Allow your palms to face up. Allow your body to melt into the earth. Relaxing your shoulders. Relaxing your jaw. Feel free to pause here if you would like to continue in your Shavasana for a little longer. Those of you ready to move on, begin to bring awareness into the body. Start to wiggle the toes and the fingers, rotating the wrists and the ankles. And extend both arms above the head for a full body stretch.
Bring both knees in towards the chest and start to rotate towards the right side into fetal position. Pressing that left hand into the earth, start to come up. Continue to keep your eyes closed. Meet me in a comfortable seated position as we begin to close out our class. Palms together, hands are at heart center. Let's close out today with one collective breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. <clears throat> Start to release all the air from the lungs. Take a nice deep breath in. And release. Come back to normal breathing. If you take anything with you today, throughout your day, remember to allow yourself grace. Give yourself patience. Being mindful that you are an incredible spiritual being walking amongst other incredible spiritual beings. And that this time you've taken to honor yourself should be much appreciated. I thank you for joining me for this Winter's Yoga practice. I hope that you have a wonderful and amazing weekend. And as always, please, please, please be safe and remember to honor yourself. Namaste.